Hello, my name is Valeria Ferrari. Thank you for being here. It's a big pleasure for introducing this uh, important webinar with Dr. Hortensi. And uh, thank you also for the patient. And uh, as you know, electromyography can be used in both diagnosis and the treatment purpose to record neuromuscular activity. And it's currently an integral part of the diagnostic and therapeutic phases in, uh, in dentistry. The purpose of this webinar is to show you the use of, the, of this exam during the first visit and in different therapeutic phases of, pro of prosthetic therapy. In particular, we will show you how to use TETAN in uh, data collecting during the first visit for the control of the temporary and the final prosthesis and also natural teeth on dental implants. So the webinar will be divided in two parts, one an introduction part that will be more theoretical and a live test that will be uh, really interesting because uh, we will see a test on a patient. And now a few words about the uh, for the, about Dr. Hortensi. Uh, is a dental technician and is also graduating in dentistry and dental prosthesis in 1993 at the University of Bologna. And he has been a, a dental officer at the Military Academy of Modena in 94-95. He attended also several courses with the most famous Italian foreign prosthetics, prosthetics like uh, Valerio Fradeani, Calesini, and master degree at University of Siena in 2001. He took part of the story annual implantology course and implant surgery course held by Dr. Bruschi and, uh, and Scipioni. And he has also published uh, uh, scientific articles on fixed prosthetics in national and international uh, journals. And he, he, has, he participated as a speaker in courses and congresses. Since 2003, he has held a course in prosthetic with credits by the Ministry of Health. And he works also as a, in, a, in his private practice in Bologna. So I'll uh, let the word to Dr. Hortensi. Thank you again, Luca, for uh, uh, your availability. And uh, of course, I, I will be here. I will close my, uh, my video and uh, audio, but I will be here. So if for any question, and, uh, you can write me or also ask me. Uh, for you, if you have any, any question or doubts, you can write in the Q&A session or also in the, in the chat. So I will read them at the end of the session in order to do not interrupt the, the, the lecturer. So thank you again, uh, Luca, and uh, see you later. Thank you, Valeria. Um, good afternoon in America. Good evening in, Italia, in Italy. Uh, I would like to thank uh, engineer Valeria Ferrari to support me in this uh, lecture and uh, all Titan group. So I would like to share the, my lecture with you. So in a few seconds, okay. All right. So thank you again, Valeria. Uh, this evening we have, uh, uh, I will, I will uh, show you some clinical case and uh, I have a live session with a patient at the end of this uh, webinar. And uh, I would like to introduce uh, um, Titan in this way with a video. So you can see my patient on my chair. Uh, I use Titan because uh, it's simple, uh, easy to use. And um, I use it in my daily practice uh, during the first visit, because I think as the first visit is the most important part of the prosthetic therapy. So uh, I prefer to, to know something more about the muscles of the patient. So Titan is a perfect in this phase of the therapy. And uh, I use Titan during the prosthetic therapy, during the final, during the temporary phase or uh, for the final restoration. You can see uh, on the screen, as you can see on the screen, uh, Titan is, uh, has four probes. I, I insert these probes on the face and uh, I have only a problem with the patient with the beard uh, because uh, uh, if you have a longer beard, uh, you have a problem with uh, the sensor. So 
uh, I think uh, uh, it's better to, if you don't have a beard on the patient on the face. But uh, I've divided my lecture in two parts. In the first part, I would like to show you uh, some cases. In the second part, I will have a session with the patient directly in my, in my dental office here behind me. So, as you can see, with a slide is written in Italian language, but because I, I studied this device at my university, the University of Catania in uh, two years ago for one year, and I use it uh, every day. So I know something about uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, device. I use it uh, during my first visit. And uh, I think uh, this is an important part of a digital, digital approach. So during my first visit, I take some pictures to the patient, intraoral, extraoral photo, uh, photo for a, a digital preview, oral impression, and uh, some uh, radiographic exams. But I think AMG analysis is an important part of my first visit. So I use it in my, on my patient. But um, if you use it is uh, during the first visit, you don't uh, use it during uh, at the end of the visit, but I prefer to use uh, it on, at the beginning of the visit because I think it's better to, to be uh, the patient in, um, in, um, in the initial state of the visit. So I don't want it, um, tired at the end of the visit. So I used Titan at the beginning of my visit. And uh, um, before, so I used electromyograph, um, myographic analysis uh, during the first visit. And I want to know something more about the function of the patient. I think this is uh, very important for my um, plan of treatment. If you want to have a good plan of, plan of treatment, I think it's necessary to to know something more about the function, about the muscles. So, um, so it's very important in this phase. And um, this uh, procedure is painless for the patient. So, and easy uh, for me. In a few minutes, I have uh, a lot of information about the patient. Uh, I don't use a titan uh, for. Uh, to uh, research the vertical dimension of the patient. I think uh, is an important data that I can uh, get from Titan, but I don't like it for this function. So if you want to, to know something more about vertical dimension, you can use Titan and you can use uh, a special index that the name is uh, uh, impact. But uh, if you want uh, to, to know something about the vertical dimension, I use clinical technique to, to know uh, this information, but, but TITA can help you to understand better if uh, the vertical dimension uh, uh, found is correct or not. So this, uh, um, we, are, we have uh, some uh, radiographic exams, but, but, uh, repeat, um, electromyography for me is a, a important part of the visit. So uh, for me is uh, the start of the visit. Immediately during the first visit, I, I do it. I, I, I do um, electromyographic analysis. In the first visit, an important um, periodontal chart like you can see on the screen uh, and uh, it's normal for in, uh, in this uh, complex clinical case to have a periodontal chart. A uh, few minutes, I want to, I would like to, to talk about uh, a virtual articulator. Uh, I can use data with virtual articulator, but, but if you have, if you want a digital workflow, I think virtual articulator today is a, a good way to, to know something more about the movement of the mandible, or movement of the, lower jaw. So I use virtual articulator uh, with the information that I have uh, uh, got during the first visit. So you can use uh, um, analogic facial bow like on uh, the left of the screen, or you can use a digital um, articulator 
as you can see on the right side of the screen. But today, uh, this situation with uh, uh, virtual articulation, virtual articulator is a, a normal situation. So you can put the patient inside this machine, this digital machine uh, without problem. You can read a good paper on uh, PubMed. The first um, author is uh, Petre um, from Journal of Prosthetic Dentistry 2019. And in this article, you have uh, uh, the, all uh, the digital workflow to get this, uh, uh, this situation, so a virtual articulator. But, but we, we are talking about uh, Titan. Titan, uh, I said, is a, a, a easy instrument. I can use it uh, not only for the prosthetic therapy, but I use it uh, during, uh, during neatologic therapy with a, a splint. And I, uh, I use a Titan um, on temporal uh, muscles, on masseter muscle. We have uh, um, a device with uh, more uh, probes for uh, uh, other muscles, but for a dentistry, uh, I think uh, if you have a good result for temporal, uh, temporal muscles or masseter muscles, you, are, you have a good information to, to get a good plan of treatment. Now, when you use Titan, you have an um, index, a red index, a yellow index, or a green index, like a traffic light. So when you have a red index, you know something is wrong. When you have a yellow index, you have a good exam, but you can improve the function of the patient with the, your therapy. So when you want to improve the quality of uh, the state of the patient, the quality of the function of the muscles, you can uh, improve your therapy. For example, I have a red index when the occlusal plane or the number uh, of contacts, dental contacts aren't correct. So uh, I have to increase the number of the contacts so I can change the situation from a red index to a green index. And uh, I have uh, other index inside my chart. For example, the impact. The impact is so important because uh, it's an index for the um, for the um, that I use to understand the um, the function of the muscle in in a brachiofacial patient, in the facial patient, or in mesofacial patient. So, um, if if you have a strong patient, you have a high impact. If you have a patient, for example, dolicofacial patient, the patient is not strong, and I can see with the impact index. So uh, it's easy to, to see the screen, uh, and uh, later we can see it uh, directly on the patient. And why Titan? So why Titan is so important for me? Because I can know uh, the state of the muscle of the patient during the first visit, and I can improve the situation. For example, this patient, I have a high impact. The impact is higher than, uh, than the regular index. So I know this patient is a, a strong patient. Uh, she, uh, she bites strongly the food, I think, no? So the impact is so high for her. And I use data because so I can understand the quality of the function of the patient. It's not, I don't know about the number of contacts, but I know if I have a red index, something is wrong. So I can change this situation, improving my therapy. Okay. When I use, do I use Titan? Uh, for example, during prosthetic therapy or during occlusal splint therapy, where I can use a splint like a, a guide of occlusion. So uh, in this way, I can know something more. I can change the stability of the occlusion. I can improve the number of contacts for the patient. So I can see uh, that the occlusion changing in uh, immediately with a splint. And I can see it with the Titan. So my exam with Titan change when I 
have a more number, um, more number of contacts, a high number of contacts. And you can see on your index on, on your screen, the difference from before and after. And uh, occlusal spin therapy is a, a very uh, good way to, to know something more about uh, this device. Because uh, if you uh, have a splint, you can change the situation immediately. When I have a patient with a splint, I use titan at the beginning of the visit, no at the hand, because the patient is not tired. So I prefer to use titan at the beginning of my appointment, no at the hand, because the muscles uh, are in, in that moment in a, a neutral state. Okay, one more. And I use titan here in prosthetic therapy to control my temporary. For example, in this patient, I change the occlusion. I, I put a, a temporary inside the mouth. And as you can see, uh, her face changed, but the number of counters changed. So my index from titan is different. And I can see immediately the uh, improving the situation, the new situation of the patient. For example, I can see uh, a correct uh, barycenter of the occlusion. Uh, I can change the torsion of the jaw. So in this phase is so important. And when I have the final uh, therapy, I can control the final therapy with Titan. This is the final therapy and this is Titan uh, the same day. After one month, I control the, the patient to, to see, to show, to see uh, if uh, this situation is changed or not. Um, and I control the patient every six months in uh, complex cases. So I know if my muscle situation is, uh, is stable in the, in, in, is stable uh, at the beginning at the end of the therapy in, in uh, during the uh, next controls. I would like to introduce this clinical case. I think it's a very complex case uh, that I, I did with, uh, uh, with Titan. I used Titan in this case because uh, uh, Titan helped me to, to know something more about this patient to prepare a good plan of treatment. I changed my plan of treatment after Titan exam because I think uh, um, Tita um, gave me uh, more information about this uh, uh, adult lady. She, uh, for, she doesn't like her smile, but she has pain when uh, she bites food. When she bites food, she, she has pain and uh, she, she, don't, she doesn't like the, the smile, she doesn't like the, the shape of the teeth. During the, during the first visit, the plan of occlusion, terrible. And uh, during the first visit, I, I did uh, some uh, pictures, okay, of the face uh, or in, intraoral pictures. And uh, this is the intraoral examination, a terrible situation without teeth in the posterior area where here without teeth, here without teeth. So I think the result with uh, uh, electromyographic analysis is uh, uh, a bad result. So this is uh, the um, radiological examination of the, this patient with a problem in this position and a problem in here, periodontal problem here, uh, endodontic problem here. So we have a lot of problem in this patient. And, she has pain, 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 and she said to me, Luca, please, uh, I want to improve my aesthetic, okay, but I want to, to, to improve my function because I can't, I can't uh, eat uh, very well. So I did uh, my, um, this is exam, um, this uh, radiographic exam for me is very important. The teleradiography for me is important to understand the, the, the type of um, um, type of patient. So she is, a, for example, a mesofacial patient, and I know it from the telegraphic exam. But but I do some pictures for a, a, a digital preview. You can see the, on the as you can see on the screen, this patient 
as uh, uh, special glasses. I use it for uh, uh, to take uh, some pictures of the face and I can use uh, this picture inside the uh, software, uh, digital as my system. So I can use these pictures to have a digital preview to show to the patient to, in, to, to share this information with the patient and my, and my group and my dental technician. I take some picture, two pictures of the faces of the face, and uh, I put these pictures inside the um, 2D software. In this way, I can uh, have a good uh, um, previsualization, digital visualization of the patient. So I can share with the patient some information, for example, the new shape of the teeth uh, or uh, the, the different uh, uh, plan of occlusion. And, but I can use it for the function. So I use it to, to improve the, the aesthetic in a, a digital preview, but I use Titan to know something more about the, the function. This is a, a, the, the software. But after this part, so I collect data, as you can see on the screen, I take pictures, I take a, a, a digital impression, and I use Titan at the beginning of my, of, at the start of my first visit. And this is the same of the patient uh, during the first visit. And the index of Titan is red because we have a bad, 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 bad situation. Here you, you can see the patient and uh, you can see uh, like a cake on the chart. And you have the blue part of the cake are uh, temporal muscles. And uh, you have pink uh, part of the cake uh, are uh, masseter's muscles. So this patient has a, a occlusion in anterior part. She can't uh, bite in the posterior area because you know she, uh, she doesn't have teeth in posterior area. So we have a, 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 an occlusion in the anterior position and we don't want it. We don't want it because it's, it's a, a bad, a wrong situation for the function. The impact is low. Why is so low? Because when you have pain inside the mouth, you have problem with your teeth, you can bite strongly. Uh, so in this way, the impact, the, in the impact index is not correct. So I do that in the first part of the visit. But when I have temporary, I, I will do a new exam so I can change this data, this index, okay? Bad, bad exam for the first visit. And now I can see in this chart that this patient is not easy to, 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 to get a, a, a good result because you don't have a, a good state uh, of the function. You have a problem. You have a problem and you have uh, temporal muscles that work uh, in, a, in, a, in wrong way. Okay, this is another image of the patient. You can see here, and so the impact is wrong because she has pain when she, she bites. And uh, this is a, a problem when you have uh, this situation. So I want to do a new exam next one week or two, or two weeks when I, I extract this teeth or I change the situation. When you don't have a teeth in the posterior area, so you want to, to have something to, 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 to check inside the mouth of the patient, you have to use a, a, a base, a resin base, like a, a, for example, a splint to know uh, something about the function of the patient. So I use a splint when I don't have teeth in posterior area. So my splint in this case is a splint with uh, teeth in posterior area because I want a, a higher number of contacts in, the, in this, uh, in this uh, zone. Like in this situation, I don't have a tooth here. I don't have teeth in this area. So I want a splint with uh, teeth. This is a, a simulation of the occlusion, the new occlusion. And now with uh, this splint, I will do a new exam and I, I can get a different result, I know. Temporary is a decay of the clinical case. So if you want to, 
to improve the quality of the occlusion, if you want to improve the quality of uh, uh, contacts, I have to use temporary in this case when I have uh, all the prosthesis inside the mouth. So temporary is uh, the key to improve this case. And uh, okay, it's not important this, this image. But this is a very important situation because you have the new exam with temporary and we changed the situation totally. You can see the green index is 90 and I have a cake, a perfect cake in the, on the right of the screen. And I have now all is okay. I have a good impact. I have a good uh, barycenter. I no torsion of the mandible, so this situation is stable because I I extracted some teeth with uh, problems. I um, I did a temporary with uh, more con dental contacts, and now I have a new plane of occlusion. I have a new plane and now I have a higher number of counters and different and occlusion and she can bite very well during the exam. Okay, surgical phase is not important in this patient. This is uh, with uh, another type of temper is not important in this case, okay. Sometime I have a different situation now after some months of the therapy, the situation is changed. Uh, impact is higher than before. Why? Because now she can bite in posterior area. She can bite strongly in posterior area. So I can change this situation, improving the vertical dimension. If you change the vertical dimension, you can uh, change the impact index. This is a very important. So in this case, after the second therapy, temporary, sorry, temporary, I uh, improve, uh, sorry, I increase the vertical dimension from, um, from that situation in another and can change this index. But I think this index is normal because she, I think she is a brachyfacial patient. So when you have a brachyfacial patient, you have a high impact. This is a, this is normal, it's a, it's a normality. Okay, now dental preparation, sorry, but it's not important this evening. This uh, is a, a dental impression, the final case on the virtual articulator. Um, how can uh, improve the function of virtual articulator with the titan? I can't, I can't to do that because titan, I use titan to understand the function of the muscles. And in the virtual articulator, I can control the movement of the mandible, the movement of the lower jaw. So it's different, but I prefer in this case to use this instrument and I use uh, the digital impression and uh, uh, other system to get uh, calibration of this uh, device. So of the virtual articulator. Okay, this is the final therapy. It's not important, but we we gave to the to the patient more contact in posterior area. We have a high number of teeth, so I put implants here. Uh, I did implants here, and uh, but now I have a contact in the posterior area. So the result of the exam is better, you know, with titan and can control with patient now now uh, in the future okay this is the final restoration okay oh, okay this is the final exam please look look at the the the, the page chart here you have a good result a green index but you have a, some red index like the body center now is posterior but it's not uh in the um a number so different from the normal range, but you have a high impact. When the patient is a brachyfacial patient like this, uh, uh, this patient, when you have um, a good number of contacts and you are a brachyfacial patient, 
you can improve the, the, the activity of the masseter muscles. So you have an uh, um, impact index higher than before. So remember, you can change the vertical dimension, but when the patient is so strong, the impact is so high, always, always, always. You can change this situation. You can, if you decrease this index, if you decrease this index, when you open the vertical dimension in a brachyfacial patient, you have the same index, high index after two months or three months, I don't know. Okay, this is the final uh, um, uh, radiographic exam, the final picture of the patient. And now I prepare the, my dental office to the live session. So um, I have, I have uh, okay, take the line, please, uh, Valeria. And I change my camera. Okay, thank you.